The true crime genre is hotter than ever, and our resident murder dirter guru, Audrey, has the scoop on an impressive slate of true crime series, docu-series, and documentaries available on Peacock. Audrey, take it away. Okay, so David is right. I am a true crime junkie. Um, and if you are too, Peacock is really the place for you this summer. So starting in July, there's going to be some new stuff, but there's already great stuff you can watch. So. Dateline 24-7 is a channel that is always running. So 24 hours a day, seven days a week, you can just pop that baby on and find some real life crime. Um, and it's just, again, a lean back experience. You don't know who did it. It was probably the husband or the boyfriend, but you're gonna watch it anyway because you can't stop. Um, so that is always there for you. John Wayne Gacy, The Devil in Disguise, um, premiered on Peacock a few months back. It is an original. It's the story of one of the most notorious serial killers of all time, told through the words of Gacy himself. Um, so super creepy, um, very dark, but really well done. Has gotten really high praise from critics and fans alike. Um, so if you're looking for something to watch now, John Wayne Gacy, The Devil in Disguise is there for you. Um, so coming up, Epstein Shadow, the Ghislaine Maxwell story. This is a three-part docu-crime uh, series that will investigate Ghislaine Maxwell. She was a British socialite and once heiress to the Maxwell fortune, and her alleged relationship with Jeffrey Epstein had um, led to her being arrested. She's currently awaiting to stand trial in November, and this series will take a peek into her world. Um, then coming to Peacock, the original Dr. Death on July 15th. Um, this is a true crime series that stars Joshua Jackson, Alec Baldwin, and Christian Slater, and it's based on a podcast of the same name. Uh, the eight-episode series will really take a dive into see these physicians who really set up to stop a colleague played by Joshua Jackson. They see him discover these egregious cases of medical malpractice and try to discover ways that they can beat the system and figure out what he is doing and how to stop him. Um, so... Along with that, on July 29th, Dr. Death, the Undoctored story will tell, uh, take a deeper dive into that series. Uh, yeah, so I, I'm specifically excited about the Dateline channel because, I mean, it doesn't matter if it comes on and it's like halfway through the story, if I see it on TV or even towards the end, like I'll jump, I'll jump in just to see the like, whatever the result of the story was like i can generally catch up but i just like tune in just to figure out if they're someone's guilty or innocent or like how it turns out and it it never disappoints every time it's good yeah especially if keith morrison wait. is on if keith morrison is on then i'm like all in because that dude is incredible voice of an angel yeah or a <laughs> devil Morrison. Yes. <laughs> um, that's my Keith Morrison. Yes. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Thank you. You're too, mm -hmm. way too kind. Um, I'm also like really excited about that or I'm not, I've, uh, I like the John Wayne Gacy. Uh, it's weird to say that you like a story about John Wayne Gacy, but it's like so creepy to hear in their own words when you get those true crime documentaries, like the Richard Ramirez one that was out. Mm -hmm. Um, when you like actually hear their voice, it makes it so much more haunting. Um, aside from the fact that the like Gacy key art like has him as like half a clown, which is really creepy too. Like yeah, as a as a former clown, this one sort of resonates with me, but also like it's problematic because not all clowns are serial killers, and I feel like it unnecessarily paints clowns in a bad light. Um, so. Yeah. <laughs> well, as as someone as someone who once chartered a clown car, I can also say that I was very haunted by it. <laughs> so, just keeping track. Today we learned Scott was once a clown, and Scott has chartered yachts. All right, that's two. It was not what related. What else will we learn? Promise. <laughs> Stay tuned to Still find out. Up.